Our first video is going to concentrate on column method for addition and then subtraction. Now, remember at any time during the video, you can pause, rewind, play it again, just to check you understand, understood what was going on. Okay, so in the first example, we're gonna have 169 plus 23, okay? Now, when we set this out, because it's addition, it's easier if we just make sure we always have the biggest number at the top and we'll put the second number underneath. Now, if you pay attention, you can see that I've lined up the numbers to the right hand side. This way, I'm always adding units with units, tens with tens and hundreds with, if there were any hundreds, hundreds. Okay. I'm going to add, so I start on the right hand side always, and I'm going to do 9 add 3, which is 12. So the 2 unit stays in the units, and I carry the 110 over and I put it underneath. Then I'm going to do 6 add 2, add the 1, okay, which makes 9. And nothing to carry over this time, so I'm just left with the 100 there. Nothing to add to it, so I just pop the 1 here. So my answer is... 192. We're now going to look at taking away. So if I've got a sum 248, take away 115. Okay, the number that comes first goes at the top. So I'm going to do it again 248, take away. 115. Now it doesn't matter as much this time because they've both got three digits but remember we're always going to line everything up against the right hand side. Okay. Now this is the takeaway so I'm going to do the top take away the bottom. So I'm 8 take away 5 equals 3. 4 take away 1 is also 3 and 2 take away 1 is 1. Nice and simple, and we can pop our answer in 133. Okay, I'm now gonna show you an example where you may get confused. Okay, so we're gonna start with 213, and we're gonna take away 184. Okay, so the number that comes first goes at the top, and I'm taking away 184, so that goes underneath. Remember, always line up against the right hand side. So we've got three take away four. Now, if I've got three apples, I can't take away four apples. So what I need to do is go over to the tens column and take a 10 and carry it into my unit. So if I take one from there, I'm left with none in there and I carry one into the units column. Now I've got 13 and I need to take away four, which is nine. There's nothing to take away eight. Well, I can't do that. So I need to go next door into the hundreds column and borrow a hundred. So that becomes a one and I carry the one next door. So now I've got 10 take away eight, which is two. And I've got one take away one, which is zero. So I'm left with a final answer of 29. Okay, we're now gonna look at some things that you could make a mistake on, you have to be careful of. So we'll start off with our sum. We're going to go with 138, take away 22. Now, if I set this out as before, 138, and I'm taking away 22. Now, you've probably spied the mistake I've made. I didn't line all my numbers up against the right-hand side. So... That would be incorrect because I've got my units underneath the tens and my tens underneath the hundreds. So I need to rub that out. 
and I need to make sure it's lined up against the right hand side. So my 22 goes there, it's a takeaway. Okay, eight takeaway two is six, three takeaway two is one, one takeaway nothing is one. So my final answer, 116. Okay, the second thing that people make a mistake on is this. So if we've got 135, take away 28. I'm going to write my sum out. Remember, I've lined them up against the right hand side. Okay, now, if, I've, if I do five take away eight, I can't do it. Okay, so what people sometimes do is they decide, oh right, the difference between eight and five is three and they pop the answer in there. We can't do this. Whenever the number on the top is lower than the number below, we must borrow from next door, okay? So if I cross out that three, it becomes a two and I carry my one next door. 15 take away eight is seven. Two take away two is nothing. One take away nothing is one. So my answer is 107.